reported tonight, helping hurricane victims from Puerto Rico. Three disaster aid centers will soon open in Florida to help evacuees. 50 highway patrol officers will also be sent to Puerto Rico to help with law enforcement. In the meantime, FEMA continues to hand out food and water to victims across that U.S. territory. Hundreds of thousands of people tonight still without water or power. Experts believe that it will take months to restore electricity. Tonight, this slow recovery has one Bay Area man taking matters into his own hands. Night Beach Chavasquez with his story. We got vitamins and batteries. And these lanterns are great. And the lanterns that you could charge your cell phones from. Activist filmmaker Eli Jacobs Fantauzi of Berkeley is packing up to fly to Puerto Rico. His flight leaves tomorrow and he's taking some extra stuff with him. So Delta Airlines says that we could bring three bags, 100 pounds each for free to bring humanitarian aid to Puerto Rico. Eli is with a group called Defend Puerto Rico. They held a rally outside the federal building in Oakland today because they believe the federal government has fallen way short when it comes to getting food and water and basic help to the people back home. Yesterday's visit by the president did not go over well here. It just broke my heart. It was so sad and humiliating. Many of these folks have relatives back home in desperate situations. That was so disrespectful. In a time of crisis, we need real leadership. And we do not need a president that's throwing paper towels at a people. Get your hands dirty. Have some compassion. Puerto Rico, Puerto Rico. Mr. President, would you realize that Puerto Ricans are U.S. citizens and they deserve the same respect as every other citizen in America? Many donations and supplies are sitting on runways or ports on the island. That's why Eli says he put out a call for donations and they are pouring in. So this is an opportunity for the Bay Area and for the community of Puerto Ricans and supporters to get things into the direct hands of the people that need it most. On the Night Beat, I'm Joe Vasquez. That group will continue to accept donations all day tomorrow at the Academy School in Berkeley.